Hey everyone, welcome back. So the market saw a small recovery, especially Terra Luna Classic. Let's take a look. FTTT token is up 33%, which I'm not sure why um, people are saying they will resolve problems and be bigger. I, I, I honestly don't believe it. I, I just think people, you know, are buying because they think it will recover. Uh, personally, I haven't seen anything that will make it recover, but the thing is, I'm just super pessimistic about this market, but I'm p bullish on Terra Luna Classic. The token was backed by other people. Liquidity, if you didn't understand it till now, they are official insolvent, but now we have more news on, on what's happening. You know, but I hope people can get their money back. What exactly has happened? Exchanges the list FTX token pairs from trading platforms. This is why I feel like the price went up because there was only it's only being traded on one exchange and people can buy it and and get their price up there for much cheaper other than, you know, buying it all exchanges. At Binance, we conduct regular reviews of listed assets to ensure they meet our standards to protect our users. Based on our recent review, we will remove and see straying pairs of several FTT uh, projects here, which I'm seeing, you know, and, and you can see here, they made an announcement. I have recently, you know, people are saying Shiba Shiba saying other tokens to the moon, but here's what, like people have different FTT now ready to become Luna Classic. Um, people are, you know, but but it can also recover, you know, if we have a new team for FTT, it could be solved. So let's go back to Terra Luna Classic. Um, what's going to happen with that? I think a lot of people realize that the, that the hacker uh, that, that did that for, um, that basically drained FTX. Uh, and we're not even sure how much was drained. Um, it also drained some, ter it's, uh, some ship. I'm not sure if it also drained uh, Terra Luna. The FTX managed to steal 477 million out of the 650 million moved on chain and currently holds 62 million in total assets. Like this is crazy amount of money, guys. Um, I Kraken said he they identified him. I mean, this is the people's money, um, and this is 477 million uh, that was you know paid out to the users, and this was definitely bad news. I don't think a lot of people realize that crypto is insolvent, but uh, the rest you know just got drained. Like the last last pieces that were, were were meant for 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 giving out um crypto exchange file for bankruptcy continues to drain assets asserting noted the hacker is draining crypto assets associated with ftx and ftx us so first we thought it was just ftx now it's also ftx us or it was before the the, the what happened but um the ftx hacker wallet currently holds 62 million of assets um and there's you know um you know, there's different coins over here. People are saying, oh, this is going to be the next meme tokens are compromised of, you know, uh, basically bad, bad naming FTX. A crypto analyst who goes named by Zach Aptt claimed the recent movement of funds is just on-chain spoofing. The analyst claimed that the either scan transfer logs can be spoofed and the recent movement of funds in the FTX hack saga is one example of that. Um, transfer and transfer from can be modified to allow any arbitrary address to be the center of tokens as long as it's spe specified within the smart contract. But there's some crazy out theories out there. As Cointelegraph reported on November 12th that the hack was flagged right after FTX announced bankruptcy. Um, we're not sure who exactly did that. Um, so the wall owner was found swapping 26 million USDT to DAI and approved USDP Apaxis issue stablecoin for trade on Cow Protocol, which, you know, is just terrible thing to do in terms of a trade he probably lost millions from that trade um but from F, you know ftx us you meant to be safe and all the luna classic trading there also used to be safe until this hack happened and this is definitely not good news despite these two entities being completely independent became a hot topic um of a speculation on inside job do i think it's inside job no i don't think so because why would they hack themselves they already are making the situation worse and people would know people would know because it's tied to a kraken account and kraken looked into it and know which one was spoofing it there was a prior key to compromise which is no evidence of the current that we can't rule out with someone access to ftx exchange and ftx us wallets moved into funds of the black hat wallets so uh what can we take away from this news is basically the terra Luna classic is now you know still having these updates but it's it's lost two biggest trading volume exchanges and obviously you can see like it fell in in, in trading volume like let's look it still has binance though so that's cool um but look at this like 137 million and let's t check a month ago uh so now it's 152 million before it was easily easily 500 million 300 million so it, it dropped half a half a training volume which is definitely very depressing i'll keep you guys updated with more news though and be sure to smash that like button i'll keep you guys updated until next time peace out